was this that matched that, but it doesn't. Uh, it should be 520. Oh, 520. Yeah, Timothy. Okay. Tell among the nations his glory and his wonders among all the peoples, for the Lord is great and highly to be praised. 
the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Good to see you all here this morning. The wind has died down, and that's a blessing, but it is a little chilly. You're all welcome, and we welcome the uh, people following the celebration of live streaming. We're celebrating today the feast of St. Timothy and Titus. There were two bishops in the early church that assisted St. Paul in his missionary work. So we honor those two um, men today. Let us call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for his mercy and forgiveness. Lord, you came together all nations and all peoples into the peace and joy of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, you come to us this morning in word and in sacrament to help us to grow in your love. Christ, have mercy. Lord, you will come again in glory. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who adorned Saints Timothy and Titus with apostolic virtues, grant for the intercession of them both, that living justly and devoutly in this present age, we may merit to reach our heavenly homeland. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. A reading from the beginning of the second letter to St. Paul to Timothy. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus, by the will of God, for the promise of life in Christ Jesus, to Timothy, my dear child. Grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. I am grateful to God, whom I worship with a clear conscience, as my ancestors did. And as I remember you constantly in my prayers, night and day, I yearn to see you again, recalling your tears, so that I may be filled with joy as I recall your sincere faith that first lived in your grandmother Lois and in your mother Eunice, and that I am confident lives also in you. For this reason, I remind you to stir into flame the gift of God that you have through the imposition of my hands. For God did not give us a spirit of cowardice, but rather of power and love and self-control. So do not be ashamed of your testimony to our Lord, nor of me, a prisoner for his sake. But bear your share of hardship for the gospel with the strength that comes from God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response, proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all you lands. Sing to the Lord. Bless his name. Proclaim God's deeds to all the nations. Announce his salvation day after day, tell his glory among the nations, among all peoples, his wondrous deeds. Tell God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Give to the Lord, you families of nations. Give to the Lord glory and praise. Give to the Lord the glory due his name. To all the nations. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. He has made the world firm, not to be moved. He governs the people with equity. To all the nations.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. The mother of Jesus and his brothers arrived at the house. Standing outside, they sent word to Jesus and called him. A crowd seated around him told him, Your mother and your brothers and your sisters are outside asking for you. But he said to them in reply, Who are my mother? and my brothers. And looking around at those seated in the circle, he said, here are my mother and my brothers. For whoever does the will of God is my brother and sister and mother. The Gospel of the Lord. We know that uh, St. Paul had a, a lot of struggles in his uh, ministry. The key thing about St. Paul was that he was touched to the core of his being at his conversion on the way to Damascus. He never forgot that experience. And uh, he always preached out of his heart he never went to the seminary or anything like that. And he preached out of his heart the death and resurrection of Christ. That was his main teaching. And then, of course, he went, in due time, he went out to share the good news with others. And he was a very learned man and very intelligent and a great speaker, I'm sure. But he had a lot of opposition and uh, a lot of persecution and a lot of um, problems uh, to solve and obstacles. So these two men came along, Timothy and Titus, and uh, they really were of great assistance to Paul. His esteem for and trust in them is evident in his writings. Timothy was a young man who received the faith from his grandmother. We received the faith we know from God, but a lot of people have an influence on us. Our parents and grandparents, all of you who are grandparents here this morning, you have an influence on grandchildren by your example, by your prayer life, by all these things. Um, his grandmother's name was Lois. Paul sent him as an ambassador to quell disputes in uh, certain churches. At the very beginning, there were disputes. People weren't getting along with each other. Has anything changed in 2,000 years? There are still issues and problems of one kind or another. So Paul sent him as an ambassador to quell disputes in certain churches. Likewise. Titus understood difficult missions and was left to organize the church in Crete. These two early bishops became links between Paul and the developing church. So the church was just developing, like a, a pastor would move into an area and found a new parish. Uh, much the same idea. So the church was barely developing. And he needed these two men to help him. And just a reflection on the gospel. Your mother and your brother and your sisters are outside looking for you. And Jesus did not ignore his family. He did not ignore them. He, um, he is not rejecting his family or family relationships. He is stating that a new relationship exists between him and those who do the will of his Father. Like all of us here this morning, we have blood relationships. We have family. We have uh, immediate family. But then we have another family right here, a much bigger family, here and all over the world, the family of the church. And that's what uh, Jesus is emphasizing, that the important thing is doing the will of the Father and surrendering to God 
and keeping the commandments. Those three important things. And um, that's a, a much bigger family than our blood family. And that's, what, what, that's the point Jesus is making. That's the point he's making. But maybe we could ask ourselves a question. What is God saying to us uh, right now in our lives? What is he saying to us today? What is he saying to us in this pandemic? It's important to reflect upon our lives and upon where we are in our times. The unreflected life, somebody said, is not worth living. So it's very important to reflect on what it is that God is, uh, wants to teach us or wants to say to us at this point in our lives. I'd like to stand now for the intercessions. Like Timothy and Titus, we are all called to share the good news with others by word and example. We pray to the Lord. For all world leaders that they can work together for peace and justice for all, especially the poor and the powerless, we pray to the Lord. For all those suffering from the coronavirus and all those helping them, and for the timely administration of the vaccines, we pray to the Lord. For our children and youth and their families and teachers, that they may continue to grow in the ways of faith and love. We pray to the Lord. Lord For people in the RCIA process, that they will come to a knowledge of the truth and follow the example of Jesus, the way, the truth, and the life. We pray to the Lord. Lord That God may grant the peace of heaven to the soul of Julia Matanane Cabales, And we pray also for Father Steve McCall and all of our departed loved ones. We pray to the Lord. For all of our own special intentions this morning, we lift them up with these through the intercession of Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. My sisters and brothers pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O oh Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, which we bring in celebration of Saints Timothy and Titus. 
and in your kindness render us fully acceptable by giving us sincerity of heart. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, and Eternal God. For you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock, but for the blessed apostles watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son, and so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, John and Ramon, his auxiliaries, Bishop Emeritus Robert, the clergy, religious, and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy in us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life 
and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. This day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. And the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. We can signal a sign of peace to each other. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
go into all the world and proclaim the gospel. I am with you always, says the Lord. Stand and pray. <clears throat> May the sacrament we have received, O Lord our God, nourish in us the faith taught by the preaching of the apostles and kept safe by the labors of St. Timothy and Titus through Christ our Lord. Thank you all for joining us for Mass this morning and uh, all those following the celebration and live streaming. And also we're grateful to our Eucharistic ministers and readers and sacristan and person helping with the live streaming. That's always a gift and a grace for those who cannot be here. And uh, enjoy the stay and be kind to one another. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, radiating the joy of the gospel. Thank you, Father Steve McCall, the priest that died recently, he was an associate with me out in St. Martin's in La Mesa back in the 80s. And um, he was a pastor at Oceanside, also in uh, Carlsbad. And uh, his final appointment was St. Mary Magdalene but his health was very, very poor for the past number of years. He gave one of his lungs to a brother, and um, he had problems at the end in the hospital with the other lung. And he died in the hospital there about a couple of days ago. Stephen Young, who was a relatively young priest, and a very good man, and a great sense of humor. And he will be missed here in our diocese. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord. May he rest in peace. May his soul and the souls of all the faithful departed to the mercy of God rest in peace. Thank you. Hello. Oh. 